Welcome to the Easton Electronics Dispatcher Training Module. There are two dispatcher modules. This one, which covers the handling of incoming signals and placing building fire alarm systems in test by zone. The second module, Administrator Dispatcher, addresses the auxiliary function window. What you are seeing is the main viewing and operating window. This is the only window you will use. All displays and functions take place from here. This consists of three operating windows and an auxiliary function section. This section shows the incoming signals. Also, city and state can be displayed if you are monitoring more than one municipality or off-site remote campus that may not be in your area. This section shows events that have been acknowledged and waiting to be completed either manually or automatically upon the building's fire alarm reset. This section displays what boxes are on test. This is the auxiliary function window, otherwise known as the GUI graphic user interface, which is covered in the administrator dispatcher module. Let's see what happens with an incoming alarm or signal. This signal could be from an AES radio, an existing GameWell master box, or input from any other line of site radio system or dial-up communicator. The dispatcher sees any of these as a seamless event. You should note this signal is designated as fire alarm and is read with an alert tone. Now I'm going to select this event which opens the alarm response window. As you can see you have a few options. Normally, you would acknowledge this signal like this. Now the event is in the acknowledged window and silenced. It is displayed with the original color signifying it was a fire alarm signal. Note, if a CAD system is connected, an event in CAD would already be triggered when this signal first came up on the incoming window. Also, emails and other remote notifications may have taken place if so programmed. The event signals can be color-coded per property and zone that was transmitted. Also, beside the alert tone, other tones are available, such as chime, chord, and ding. Now, let's go back to the event that has been acknowledged. As you can see, the box number time, signal description, property name, and address are displayed. Double-clicking on the event reopens the alarm response window. The main tab details the event you clicked on in the incoming event window. By clicking on the notes tabs, there is a word processor compatible notepad. This is assigned to this account. Buttons allow you to acknowledge the event, complete the event, or even attach a comment to this event or cancel the selection. I'm going to click Cancel to leave this signal in the acknowledged mode. Talking about this signal, we acknowledged the responding unit has reported they reset the fire panel. Keep in mind any signal that is acknowledged only affects the zone. All other zones are still capable of reporting an alarm. Your use of the alarm handler functions will depend on your operating criteria. Now, let's look at putting a building fire system zone in test mode. Now I'm clicking on the Place account on Test button. Double-click on the box number. Select Yes to place all zones on test and No to select individual zones. I'm clicking No to select single zones. Now I'm selecting a zone or zones to place in the test mode. And now the time frame, which allows the zone to auto-restore or be placed out of service. Click Place Account on Test. The display now shows the box number. Time it was taken out of service. Time to auto-restore. Number of zones in test. Property and address and zones. Double-clicking on this location will show you the zones out of service and allow you to force a restore of zones before the timer expires.
Now, let's look at recent event activity. By clicking on this button, you can view all of the last 25 incoming events. These are listed by the most recent on top. As you can see, this displays time, account number, property name, address, event code transmitted, zone, signal description, city, state. An example of use could be if an alarm was accidentally completed without handling it. This allows the user to quickly go back and see what alarm was just received. This ends the module. Have a great day. allows the user to quickly go back and see what alarm was just received. This ends the module. Have a great day.